Hi everyone, welcome back to Florida Trends Business Beat. I'm Ami Alexander with the Can't Miss Stories for the week of March 24th, 2023. Few of Florida's fresh medical school grads want to become emergency medicine doctors, one of the state's most needed professions. Nationally, 555 emergency medical positions went unfilled on this year's match day more than double the number of unfilled positions last year. The State Board of Administration reports some of Florida's $177 billion pension fund was tied up in recently failed banks. Around $25 million were invested in Silicon Valley Bank stock and about $5 million in Signature Bank stock. Time's up on pandemic-expanded Medicaid and nearly 1 million Floridians may lose coverage as a result. State officials have not elected to replace coverage for those who no longer qualify for Medicaid when COVID-era extensions expire next month. From reports of pythons and crocodiles to seaweed and red tide, Florida has seen more than its share of unwanted gas this month. Now the Sunshine State faces another invasion. A new species of mosquito is coming to town. It's unknown if the incoming curved mouth, striped-bodied bug will facilitate the spread of diseases to humans. Florida's post-pandemic hotel industry boom is leading the nation. According to Moody Analytics, Fort Myers, Miami, and West Palm Beach represent the top three hotel markets in the U.S. The Sunshine State saw overall hotel sector revenue increases between 7% in Jacksonville and 75% in Fort Myers. And that's your beat for the week of March 24th. We'll see you next week.